Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about that mystery marine reptile, which I'm going to refer to as Dinocephalosaurus throughout this video, since that's what I've been referring to it for most of this time, and that's the creature that it most likely is. But again, we're going to go into that a little bit more. But anyways, let's jump into the video. So pretty much in the Dino Dex intro, which uh, it's really messy, the Dino Dex intro generally, what, what is, it's really weird. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that right now, but anyways, in the Dino Dex intro, you can see many creatures throughout the crystals when they're zooming through the um, Dino Dex logo. And one of those creatures is some sort of marine reptile, which we have not seen yet, yet we do know some sort of marine creature is going to appear in the series. And well, um, yeah, it's most likely the creature that we've had a drawing of for quite a while of. And we've assumed it's Dinocephalosaurus, since it's the only creature that has flippers, a long neck, and a long tail. And, um, yeah, I mean, technically, yeah, it has some relatives, but they're less popular and much smaller than the Dinocephalosaurus. And that's really saying something, since Dinocephalosaurus is already a very unpopular species. But anyways, again... <laughs> The trailer we see a creature that matches that description with the same exact colors and everything and um yeah there are reasons why i think it's still dinocephalosaurus and not some sort of weirdly edited plesiosaur some sort of like an elasmosaurus or something first reason is the head the head shape just doesn't match any type of plesiosaur since plesiosaurs have signed up more of a flattened head with a lot of sticking out teeth while on the other hand this one matches a more narrow head of dinocephalosaurus Another reason is if you look at the tails, Dinocephalosaurus has a more long, flat, paddle-like tail, while Plesiosaurus have a shorter tail with a fluke on the end, which this completely lacks, which could be an inaccuracy, but again, I don't think that is what it is. But anyways, that is why I still think that this is a Dinocephalosaurus. And, um, yeah, Dinocephalosaurus just is the one species that really fits the match of this, though, again, we won't know until the series comes out. There are other species that we assume with something since they match them so well, yet they were not in the series. So, um, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. What are your guys' opinion on this? And, um, goodbye.